Okay. Today I'll be reviewing the XFX 780i SLI motherboard. I'll just pick it up now, actually. Three-way three -way SLI. I'll be waiting for this sucker for a while. Just have a look in here. It's what's in the box. Play hard stick in the front on the black enclosure. Oh, that's something groovy. Oh, I'm gaming, do not disturb. <laughs> My girlfriend won't be too happy with this one, that's for sure. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna put this one on the door. Whack her in there. That looks great. <laughs> One thing I must say though, this is a really nice looking motherboard. It's, a, it's got a nice touch here with that green, here with the green PCI here lanes, slots, whatever, whatever you want to call them. I think it looks great. And that huge uh, heat sink. It's going to have to cool two chips now. Not just the North Bridge, but the the, uh, th oh, I believe it's the uh, N200 chip or something like that, which basically what it does is just yeah give support for these three PCIe lanes to run at 16-speed mode, and these two N1s at 2.0, which gives it more bandwidth. But I don't think that any card today will be using. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, that type of speed anyway. I th personally, I think yeah, 2.0 is just a waste of time right now. Won't be any in any use. Anyway, regardless, it's still a yeah, yeah, great looking board and it's got plenty of power, plenty of speed. Let's just have a look and see what's in the box. It comes with a cooling fan as well. Um, If you want to do some do some overclocking, which I think everybody here will be doing on this board if they buy it. Why? If you can, why not? That's my that's my uh, philosophy. Let me just clip some of that somewhere. Yeah, just like that. Some cables and things like that. Which I won't be really using that, that much of it. Comes with a three way SLI bridge, a single for two way SLI, and a back panel plate. Okay, just to give you an idea on what I'll be putting on. Well, my overall system, what it will be. I've already, yeah, yeah, whacked these on. Uh, I've got two 8800 GTXs there with the EK uh, water blocks on them. Um, as you can see, yeah, they've already been used because I had them in my old system on the 680i SLI uh, motherboard. Nothing but problems. I'm sick of it. Let's hope this you know, new one is okay. Which, um, yeah, yeah, from the reviews I've been uh, reading, it seems okay. It seems pretty stable, no problems at all. And I got the uh, this huge rear radiator. It supports your four fans. Um, the XFI, your sound card. Um, I'll be using the Intel. QX6700 um, and the 30 stacker from Cooler Master case. So I love this case. And just have a look inside. It's sort of half done. The wiring 
all the wiring and stuff like that is basically it's getting there. I want to slide the uh, side panel, the side panel here, yeah, because this this case is actually yeah, great in in that way because you can take the side panel out and you can store your your motherboard. You can click your your graphics card in and all the other PCI cards and stuff like that, and just slide it back in and um, plug all your cables in. It's pretty simple. And I got yeah, I got this Swift Tech. I think you see there, but the Swift Tech. Um, MC655 and I'll be using the, uh, the it's upside down there, the Swift Tech yeah, reservoir which I think I'll be mounting somewhere here I think I'm not quite sure yet yeah I've got the 850 watt um, what's it called the uh, Cooler Master uh, Real Power Pro, two Raptor yeah, 150 gig hard drives in, in RAID 0 I'll be using, and uh, just in the front here, like the front panel audio uh, for the for the XFI card to communicate with that one. Yeah, it's a pretty slick case.